stop by, and I need to have him come in real quick because, wow. and then and then two girls are here that we have to talk to. But uh, you know, Benji got into a weird thing with Chuck, and I just want you to straighten this out with mm -hmm. Chuck Benji real quick. And I hope Benji has his head on straight. Yeah, mm -hmm. I hope Benji knows how to handle this. This is the great Chuck uh -oh. Zito. Benji, don't <laughs> be stupid. <laughs> Good morning, Chuck. Good morning, Chuck. How you doing? Uh, Chuck has his own show Chuck, here. How are you? How are you, Chuck? <laughs> <laughs> I, um, oh my god all right chuck is putting on his headphones chuck there was a, a terrible you you were on your radio show and admittedly angry with ivy supersonic benji's somewhat girlfriend i guess first of all let me ask you something was ben, there a benji psycho case right <laughs> chuck and it's good to see you and the show is great i was i uh, gotta you. tell you i've never heard anybody handle ivy the way you handled her that was yeah you you, had, was you actually got her to shut up yeah. Yeah. I was actually a, a little too nice, I think. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to say a lot more, but... Uh, you were a gentleman. I was on my show. <laughs> <laughs> the Chuck Zito show. <laughs> Chuck, Chuck, you're a nice guy. <laughs> Chuck, uh, you're a strong man. You're a powerful man. And uh, Benji has somehow led into this weird thing with Ivy that I do want to straighten out. Now, uh, Chuck... You, Ivy called into your show, and she was talking about Benji wants to fight you and all this other stuff. Right. Now, was there ever a sexual relationship between you and Ivy? No. There's never. nothing between. You've never banged her? I, I, don't, I don't kiss and tell anyone. <laughs> I don't mention names. Are you banging Ivy while Benji is banging mm -hmm. Ivy? Is there no. anything going on like that? No. Right. So you don't have any sexual interest no. in Ivy? Sexual? If I see him, I'll crack. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, nah, it's a joke. I don't hate girls. Okay. I kick him once. <laughs> yeah, I know you're a Why gentleman. use your you hand would, on a woman? You would, never, you would never use your hand on a woman, right? <laughs> Is that right, Chuck, or do I have it wrong? Never, never, never. Never, never. All right. never hit a girl in my life. Okay. So Ivy somehow calls up and says, Chuck Zito and Benji are going to fight. Benji wants to fight Chuck Zito. And you appropriately right. said, look, if this guy wants wow. to fight me, I'll, I'll give him brain damage. Right. I'll hit him once, and then his brain will be damaged. Right. But also, Ivy's already arranging deals, setting up money. Uh, 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 how this whole thing started, Go I ahead. did my show last week. Right. Like, it's the first time back-to-back -back we did it on Monday, right. which was great. Good. You should, uh, I got to talk to you about that. All right. <laughs> Anything you want. So then uh, <laughs> what happened was I, I always go to uh, Scores and have dinner after my show. Right. With my friend Frankie. Right. Who shows up is this Ivory. So ivory, she sits yeah. down. Ivory. Ivory, <laughs> ivory. Ivory. Why ivory. Is, I like the name Ivory. Right. His yeah. girlfriend. So. Benji's girlfriend. Is it your girlfriend, Benji? No, we're, we're friends. We, we have dated and we're friends. And I All do right. like her. All right. And you have okay. A, you're okay. All right. So uh, she goes, I got a great idea. And she came, she came to scores, right. and uh, she was sitting on my table. She goes, I have a great idea. I said, what? She goes, uh, you should open your own gym. You know how big that would be? Everybody follows you. I said, well, uh, actually, I'm in talks with somebody to open up a gym. Makes sense. She goes, well, I know so many people. I have connections that I could get the money up. I could do this. I said, don't do me any favors. No, you could do it yourself. Right, right, right. right. Next thing I know... The next day, I'm driving, and I'm hearing you listening to your show, right. and the next thing, he wants to fight me. Right. That's Which, what I hear. Right. And, so, and then she says, she, oh, she leaves a message on my machine that uh, I could get you money for the gym to open up, and, but I get my commission, all that nice. bullshit. Right. So you can see it's for her own personal gain and profit. Right. So she's right. going to get somebody in trouble because uh, All right. so she's Benji, got a big mouth. Yeah, you, you go uh, ahead and kill Benji. Why don't you say something to Chuck now and explain that you never, you didn't know anything about this? Yeah, I, I, I was absolutely shocked. I thought she was joking around. I would never want to get in a ring with you because I would be scared to. Because I, I know you're, you're one of the toughest guys in America, in the world, uh, and, and I know also. Too far, but. Well, uh, but what I know is it's not a joke to you. No, it's not. And, and and I had no interest in doing it. When she said it to me, I treated it like a job. I was like, you know what? If I'm going to die, pay me more because I would get hurt. But what did you and, say to her when she's going around using your name? I, I, I put said, her right no, in her place. I, say, I said to her... And I talked to her last night also. Are you able to control this woman, or do you, you need me to step Chuck in? Sutter, all, shut she, her down. Yeah. She's, not, she's not my girlfriend. She's my friend. And I do like her. She does get carried away. Well, you got to put a leash on her, man. 
Because she, she's going to. But she's not my girlfriend. But she's but, going to get well, you into trouble me, nonetheless. Wait, wait, wait. But Chuck, you keep hearing this. You, you, you don't know what to make of it, right? No, I said she. Sorry, I said to her. Let me just, just tell me. You talked to her last night. You talked to her. No, I did. Yesterday. She said, I told her, do not speak it from for me anymore. She said she won't. She apologized. And I, I, I know she wants to apologize to you. Don't do me any favors. No, mm. no, no that's, that's, that's between you and her. Okay. Um, but for myself, I want to say, like, I, I never wanted to get... Did you I ever say no to her interest. you want to fight Chuck? Absolutely not. And I absolutely don't. I would love to see Chuck fight because I think that would be an interesting, great fight. But not me. Well, Chuck, do you accept his uh, apology? Of course. Of I course, knew right. it was to come from him anyway. Right. I knew it was coming from her. And she's just doing, like I said, for her own personal gain and profit. But the way she said it on my show Monday night, no, Benji said he wanted to fight you. And then it's when, I, when it, my, the tables turned a little. Yeah, Benji was getting nervous. This thing was spinning out of control, and he had nothing to do with it. Oh. But you know what, Chuck? The way you just said, look, don't speak for me, and she then settled down. I don't think Benji has that ability to shut her down like well, that. And you have to understand, if you hear something else, that Benji's not in control. Yeah, how could he control woman. her? I mean, you did it so effortlessly. We heard you on the show tell... Well, should I play she, the clip like, of you controlling... Like, uh, sure. Uh, she, uh, I mean, she called in, and right away I said, you're out of line. Right. And you stepped all over your boundaries. You don't ever talk, speak for me. I speak for myself. And I... I you feel that uh, you, if you're going to step in the ring, you want $5 million to step in the right. ring. Right. What do you got? 100000 What is that? Yeah, and you... Uh, to, to fight Benji would be like fighting Eric Demidji. It would be a joke, <laughs> right? You're not a circus performer. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> That's it. Well, it would, would have been a big circus <laughs> yeah. act. You're a serious it, fighter. Was, exactly. Yeah. I didn't lose 31 pounds to jump in a cage to fight Benji. Well, someone uh, Unless, described to me they were in your presence and you got... you want to fight me. <laughs> <laughs> As what? a matter of fact, Chuck, someone described to us they were around you and a guy got out of line and you smacked him open with your open hand. And knocked him out, right? And I broke his jaw. Him, yeah. oh. you, bro you broke the guy's jaw. Yeah. So wow. you we're not fooling around here, right? Yeah. yeah. That All was right. outside scores, actually. Right. Well, the guy got a little bit out of line or something. Yeah. Yeah. I want to ask Chuck something, though. So you're in shape to fight, Chuck? Are you going to fight? Uh, yeah. There's yes. a deal going on for well, you? Well, we're fight? trying now. I mean, I lost 31 pounds. I went from 238. And I, I went, I'm down to 207 right now. That's right. You look leaner. Yeah. Oh, I'm, so who are you fighting? Anybody. Like, just go. Uh, just got to find someone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, there's so many organizations anybody? out there. It don't have to be just the UFC. It's so right. many different, 10 different organizations. You're Somebody will come up with the money. Right. You're yeah. looking for a fight. Yeah. And it ain't Benji. Is everybody <laughs> no, afraid no. of you, Chuck? No, no. There's a lot of tough guys out there, especially in the, uh, the cage there. They yeah. are. But like I said, at my age, I just want to try it and see what happens. The yeah, oldest, you think they'd be stepping up? The oldest guy ever to fight in the, in the UFC was a guy named uh, Ron Van Cleef. He was 51 years old. Yeah. How did he do? Uh, he got choked out in like 20 seconds. By Hoyce Gracie in, in UFC 4. It was, in, it was, oh, it was, it was pretty wild. Well, that, those but, Gracie guys are awesome, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. You they, see, they're, did they're you the ones study, who Did it. you study Gracie uh, Jiu-Jitsu? No. I've trained in six different styles of, of the uh, martial arts. Is Gracie a superior uh, form of martial arts? Well, they actually started this whole MMA craze. I mean, I was doing MMA before most of those guys were even born. Right. When you say uh, six different martial arts. I've trained two forms of Kung Fu, White Crane and Tiger Claw, Ishinu Karate, Jikido Jiu-Jitsu. When you say you train, do you, do, you, do you become a master at this? Yes. Do you become yes. a, a black belt? Yeah. You do. How many years does it take for you to train? I've it? trained since I'm 18 years old. I'm and you were in the gym every 55. day? Yeah, when he says he was in that stuff before, he was just yeah. doing it in a bar somewhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, I trained for several months in karate. I, did you hear my, my Until tape? my groin pull, I was very, very powerful. I heard that, that the both of you trained yeah, with did. Toki Hill yeah. and yeah. Howard Friedman. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Two great senseis. And, yes. uh, of course, and they got us out of that. Yeah. Uh, my I, unfortunate gro multiple groin pulls <laughs> and, uh, and, and the, taking a foot to the throat right. kind of stopped me dead in my tracks. Actually, Toki Hill was the first American to win a gold medal yeah. Yeah. in 1980. Awesome. So he was your... your your, your instructor. Yes. Yeah, we yes. used to bow to him. <laughs> yeah, I punched him right in the face. Knocked that fucker right out. Sure you Oh, did. yeah, he couldn't handle me. No. No, he been slapped. He been slapped me. I just saw door. him in the green room. Uh oh, I'm <laughs> out of here. <laughs> no, he's one of the toughest guys I ever met. No, he's 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 great. He really, yeah, he, he was a great guy. He puts on that uh, Arnold Classic every year, which is is that right? Yes. I yeah, didn't which realize is in, that in was February. What he was How's he doing? Is he's he doing great. Married he, still? 
Yeah. yeah. But I, I think he just had a hip replacement. Actually. Oh, my no goodness. kidding. Yeah. Well, maybe I could kick his ass now. Get him now. Kick him in the uh, uh, kick him in the hip. In the hip. Kick, kick in him in the, the artificial hip. All right. So now it's all straightened out. And by the way, Benji, I think we should play Chuck's tape of yes. straightening Ivy out so, so that you, you learn, learn how to speak to a woman. It was really masterful. I gotta say. I think a lot of guys can learn from this. Right. I don't need this kind of talking to. But Where is that clip? Yeah, let me hear it. Where, you, you have to hear it. Where is Chuck? <laughs> even Chuck could learn from this. Where is <laughs> Where is Chuck's clip, guys? Okay, go to Gary Page two. All right, Gary. Uh, third there. column, bottom one in red. All right. Here is Chuck. He was angry with Ivy. This is a masterwork. And why this is a masterwork, Ivy can talk a mile a minute. And Chuck seems to slow her down somewhat. You know, when people say, gee, a woman is very... Somewhat? Shut her down. <laughs> <laughs> I have a habit of doing that. <laughs> All right, Chuck, listen and learn. Okay. We're going to go to, oh, look who's here. Ivy. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Chuck? Not too much, Ivy. So, I'm uh, pretty pissed off at you. Okay. Uh-oh, should I hide? Okay. Well, who, first of all, nobody speaks for me but me. <laughs> and who are you to call Howard and tell some bullshit story that I'm fighting Benji? Where did that come from? Well, Benji told me that he that he would fight you. Benji so, told me he would fight. Benji told you he would fight. Well, let yeah, me you tell know you something. Benji is. You don't okay. never know if it's something. Well, let me tell you something. Or because, true or whatever. Because, but first he said of all, he would fight you. He would fight me. Well, right now, Benji, because whatever you guys are doing, I don't know if you're sucking his cock or whatever, <laughs> but Benji's letting his little head think for his big head. Because Benji's big head don't realize all the fucking brain damage I would give it. <laughs> and for him to even say he'd be in the same ring as me is a fucking insult. And for well, you, we know that. For you, I for mean, you to just... talk talk about me on Howard Stern, you don't have the right. You're, you're, you, you went over your bounds, okay? And about fighting. I didn't lose 31 pounds to fight in a cage to be involved in a circus event. And I'm pissed I off gotcha. at you. For doing I that. got you, but I figure for a hundred grand. I, it doesn't matter a hundred thousand. You know what? I'm going for five million. If they could give Kid Rock and Tommy Lee five million to fight, that's what I want. I don't want no circus act. So don't ever speak for me again or bring me up at Howard. Okay? You got it. You got it. Bye. All right. Out. That's it. Done. <laughs> Done. Girl, learn, learn how to do it. Involved in my <laughs> life, and the first thing out of her tape was, "Oh, well, I'll get my commission." So she wants for her own personal gain. Fighting Benji is no different than fighting fucking Eric the Midget. <laughs> <laughs> now, Benji. <laughs> He stated his case. Uh, let me say what I heard on that tape. That is a right. funny dev. Uh, Benji and Eric the Midget, I'd like to say. If you get that going. <laughs> what I'm hearing on that tape is he stated he was hurt right. and insulted. Right. And that it had to stop. Right. That no one has the right to speak for Chuck. Right. That there are boundaries. That's right. And you crossed them. And somehow when he says it, Ivy listens. Right. Now, are you you able see how she was meek? <laughs> well, like Have said, you ever heard her like that? She's not my girlfriend. She is my friend. Right. And I, I, the truth is I can't control what other people say I said or say about me. But I, 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 if, she, if she keeps doing it, if she does it again, she won't be my friend anymore. That, right. That's what I can say. Wow. And all I can do is speak for myself. <laughs> okay. That's some threat. Well, Chuck, well no, glad, it's not a threat. I'm, it's I'm just, glad this all worked out. But I do like her, and she's a good person. And, and I, I, I'm sorry that she did this. And and I, I know that she admires you a lot, and and you personally maybe you apologize two... to Chuck for even coming into his knowledge. Yeah. Even even for you to take up time in his mind, you should apologize. That he has to say her. your name, right? <laughs> and you should apologize that you couldn't control your your woman. Well, go ahead. I I, I know it was her, man. So you don't even have to. Uh, You're gonna you let this guy apologize. off the hook. Aren't he you? should apologize. <laughs> he should he should apologize that he can't control his woman though. Go ahead. Now she's done. <laughs> All right. All right. Leave Benji alone. He had enough. Benji was ready to shit his pants. Yeah, go ahead. Is there something that Benji could do to Ivy that would make Chuck happy? <laughs> nah, he's not supposed to hit her. No, no, no. no. <laughs> well, maybe short of corporal punishment. Right. What could he do? He's not in charge. Maria? Oh, no. no. Oh, you see, he's got deep feelings for no, her. No, he I'm, does. I'm, he I'm, does. I'm, no, I'm saying that would be punishment to her. If do I you think her. Benji should get away punishment from Punishment to both Punishment to you, <laughs> man. Huh? That's your punishment. Chuck, do you think Benji should break up with Ivy and get away from we're, her? We're not girlfriend-boyfriend. We're friends. Oh, I'm not going to from... get in... I can't give advice. Look at me. I mean, uh, <laughs> you've been through the mill. Yes. I've been through everything, but uh, that's yeah, his you know personal that guys, uh, feelings. 
guy sometimes. But, you know, you can't help it with the woman. you got to get him Well, involved. right now, the way he's talking, his little head's thinking for his big head. Yeah. Right. And that's right. the problem. That's right. Just the way you're talking now. Maria. Well, that was a joke. But I am. I think, she, I think she is attractive. And I think she's a good person. I think she got way carried away. And I think she's going through a bad time and she needs to straighten All up. All right. Well, it's, I'm glad it worked out. And by the way, these stories of your sex life on your radio show. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, fabulous. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, I so we got to we got to straighten that out. Are they all true? Because Robin people... I don't believe that one bit. <laughs> right? If, are they all true? Yes, yes, I, I don't it. take up. I don't make up stories. If you heard my radio show the other night, you don't I, need I don't to. lie to my friends. Right. right. And I don't lie to my family. Right. You have sex with these women. But I love the. I, love... I did lie to Robin one day. What did you say? Yes. Because <laughs> I gotta admit that finally. What is now? Do? It's like coming out of the closet, of sort of to speak. And, and yes, what do you, what do you want to say? Well, the uh, one time I came here when I had my long duster and I had my yeah. my gangster hat on, and I had that little spaghetti string shirt. Yeah, yeah. So as soon as I took it off, you said, "Chuck, you look more masculine than I ever saw you before." <laughs> and right away, the first thing out of Robin's mouth was, "Are you on steroids?" <laughs> <laughs> And, and I lied said, like a motherfucker oh. out there. I said, no, I'm not. But you were doing some juice? Of course, of course. Oh, right. Nobody right. gets that big <laughs> in a month's time with two months' time. And she picked it right out. Wow. I was juicing, too. I want to come clean. <laughs> so, uh, yes. Listen. But now it's like coming out of the closet because everybody's doing it. So right. I, don't, I don't care. When you first do it, you say, nah, I'm not doing it. But meanwhile, you gave 30 pounds of muscle. I want to say how good it is to see Chuck. We love having you on Thank the you, channel. Thank Everybody you. loves the show, and we love playing the clips from it. You're doing a great job, in my opinion. And uh, love Chuck. Love the show. We do love the show. Uh, we're going to take a break. Chuck Zito, thank you. And we can hear you here on Howard 101. Howard 100. That's right. We're hoping every week, but right now it's uh, we're back to uh, Five months three months. weeks. Uh, three weeks. Every three weeks. Uh, every three weeks? Well, it was every two weeks. Then we did a week apart. Uh -huh. Now it's, uh, I, well, I'm leaving tomorrow for the Rambo premiere in uh, 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 Are you in the movie? Vegas. No, no. Oh, I just okay. go out there. Sly's a friend. And Will you bodyguard him that night? No, no. Just no. visiting. Just, just, right. just, okay. just going. They invited me. Do you have tickets? Because sometimes I know you show up and you just say, let me in. <laughs> oh, they'll let him in. <laughs> Did you plan ahead this time and get some tickets? <laughs> no, it's at Planet Hollywood is the big premiere. Right. So in other words, in you Vegas. Are, you're welcome there. They're going to yes, have room yes, for your motorcycle. Yes, yes. There's not going to be any confusion. <laughs> no, no confusion. Did you ever right. bodyguard Stallone? Yes. You did? In 1982, when we first met, was 1982, when he was doing... He directed uh, John Travolta in Staying Alive. Right. Was he getting a shitload of pussy when you were around him? I mean, was it endless? <laughs> uh, I mean, what did you, I mean, was forget it, um, about it, forget about it, right? It yeah. was Elman Real. But you got to hand it to the guy. He is 30 years later. He's still making Rockets and Rambos. He's yeah. 61 years old. He looks great. It's an impressive career. Yeah. It really is. All right. Chuck, thank you. Thank you. And we look forward to hearing the Benji. show. B Benji. Keep carrying on. <laughs> All right. Stay solid, man. Uh, yeah. Put her on a leash, man. Wait, Do <laughs> but one last thought. Dominic does have a good thought. What is oh, it, Dominic? Yeah. How are you? Hi. Listen, my idea is Benji fights supersonic, and I'll put up 10,000 <laughs> to win. Benji, could you box Ivy and win? <laughs> Chip, kick his ass. Could, <laughs> could Eric the Midget uh, like, be in the ring with me All against right. her? Uh, we will, uh, I'll be your cut, man. Put a leash on that girl. Put a leash on that puppy. Be strict with her. Be firm. And say, do it or else. She might give you a crack, though. Just be though, is as bad as can. He knows he's the best. Just be though, is as bad as can. He knows he's the best.